Hi, this is Evan, and today we're doing a Nintendo Switch games tier list. So yeah, let's get right into it, shall we? So we're starting off here, these are let's just have a look at these are just games that I haven't played or just don't have a general interest in or know what they are for a fact. Um so let's get into it, shall we? So the first game is one two switch. Now one two switch is a fun game if you're in a party. If you have a party if you if you actually have friends. Which for some of us isn't realistic. D. Animal Crossing New Horizons, second most popular game on Switch. Such a good time. Friends or alone doesn't actually matter. Always a good time to play Animal Crossing. Let's do that there. Um, so oh, this is a game that came out in the year of the Switch, like a new IP, new idea for Nintendo. This worked with Splatoon. It didn't work quite as well. I'm um, still a good game, but it could be improved. So, let's see. Cadence of Hyrule. Zelda music. Meh. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. So, Captain Toad first appeared in Mario 3D World. No, Galaxy. He first appeared in Galaxy. But then he got some levels in Mario 3D World. And then he got a spin off game on the Wii, which was ported to Switch. Captain Toad's a pretty good game. It's got some good levels, it's got, some, got a good like thing, got a premise, and it has some new levels with the Switch, like Mario Honestly theme levels, which are really cool. So, it goes in wrong one. Clubhouse 51 Worldwide Games. It's just fake Wii Sports. A Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Yeah, it was originally on the Wii U. It was ported to Switch by Captain Toad. It's also a pretty good game. I like it. B tier. No, wrong one. B, B tier. Fire Emblem Three Houses. It's probably one of the best Fire Emblem games we've had in a while. So I'm going to put that in like C tier. Fire Emblem Warriors. Fire Emblem Warriors. Not much to say about it, really. Meh. Oh god, this one. Yeah, I don't understand the premise behind this. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Horror Warriors Age of Plenty. Spin off of Breath of the Wild, obviously. Create a new Zelda timeline. Spoiler alert. Um, really good game. It gets quite hard at some points, but I did enjoy it, so A tier. Hi Hyrule Warriors normal, it's not as good because there's another Breath of the Wild things, but it's still a pretty good game, so B tier. Kirby Star Allies, not much to say. Luigi's Mansion 3, third in the Luigi's Mansion series, obviously it's a pretty solid game, made by a pretty good company, uh, yeah, B tier. Mario Bader, no. Yes. Yes. No. No. Huh. Paper Mario Origami King. It was okay. God, Pikmin 3 to works. Who actually bought this game? Honestly, who actually bought this game? Literally no one. It's a good game, but no one bought it. It's a good game, I know. See. Pokemon that's got Pikachu and that's where he obviously remakes of Red and Blue. Honestly, solid games. Sword and Shield. Yeah, you know it. Despite some lazy animations <laughs> here and there. <laughs> mm. Yeah, they're both pretty solid games with two good DLC packs, very enjoyable. Pokemon Tournament. I played Pokemon Tournament on the Wii U. So, I am just played the new version with the new characters, but it's basically the exact same game. So, it's pretty mediocre. Okay. Yeah, we don't talk about Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon around these parts. Ring Fit Adventure is a bit of a mediocre one, considering it's a fitness game. I don't like being alive, so let's so see. I haven't seen that face in many moons. Okay, Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2 is what, all those games on the Switch that you kind of have to get. If not, you, you're going to be arrested by someone. So, A tier. Is that, is that Kirby? Is that that Kirby fighting game that came out like three months back? I think so. Okay. This is going to be an interesting one. Mario 3D All Stars. Obviously, remakes, not really just the same game, of 64 Sunshine and Galaxy. Came out in September. All three of them are fantastic games. But nothing really, you know, made it shine like it could have done, but it's still going B tier. Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. If it was 3D World alone, that's C tier. 
but Bowser's Fury is such a fun experience. Such a good game. Boink. Mario Maker 2. Mario Maker 2 is obviously a sequel to the original Mario Maker on the Wii U. But Mario Maker 2 is better, and it's good. So it goes there. Oh boy. We're onto our first Bam Bam line. What? We're onto a Mario game. The best Mario game on Switch, in my opinion. And it just calmly sits in there in S tier. Mario Party Super version. Heh. <laughs> There's not much to talk about on that one. Mediocre. Do I need to say anything else? Do I? Okay, I won't. Tetris 99. Tetris 99 is obviously free on Nintendo Switch Online. It's a fun game. It's just quite fun, but it can get quite boring, which puts it down to C. Boink! No more needs to be said. Breath of the Wild is a fantastic game. It's a bit long. Yeah, that's to be expected. It's an open world game. It's so fun. You should definitely play that if you haven't got a Switch. If you have a Switch, play it. Link's Awakening. It's just eh. 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 It's mediocre, it's fine. Xenoblade 2 and Xenoblade 2 DLC are gonna go in the same tier. They're both pretty good games, honestly. Pretty nice. Xenoblade Definitive Edition, it's just Xenoblade. And finally, Yoshi's Crafted World. It's the sequel to Woolly World that nobody wanted. Yeah, if you agree with this tier list, agree with this tier list. If you don't agree with this tier list, don't agree with this tier list. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, I hope you can subscribe. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.